That is a chicken sandwich if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it is. I gotta be a beauty influencer. I wonder influencer. if you can see this. And yeah. There we go. <laughs> What's up? It's Kat and Dev from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. And today we're making a recipe that is long overdue because I don't know if anyone else has noticed, but there's been an absence of buffaloes. <laughs> Dev is like, uh, the monthly buffalo sauce quota is not being met. <laughs> I would argue that like the yearly, like we are past the halfway point of the year and I just feel like there's not been enough buffalo sauce, but if there was ever a recipe to make up for it yeah so I was just really craving a fried chicken sandwich always so I made one <laughs> yeah so I did kind of what we've been like our forever chicken replacement until there's something better but honestly this is so good is oyster mushrooms so we did a like fried oyster mushroom sandwich but it's not like fried fried it's air fried what? <laughs> and it's like so good. Like it's a nice alternative if you don't feel comfortable deep frying or you just don't want to deep fry. Like it's a really nice alternative and it still tastes decadent. Yeah, like I was so impressed how comparable it is to deep fried. Like I am blown away. Yeah, I mean, disclaimer, it's not oil free. Just because we air fried it, it's not oil free. In order to make it anywhere near as good as a deep fried like version, you have to include some oil. So it's not an yes. oil-free recipe. There is some oil, but there's drastically less oil. <laughs> yeah, and it's just a less stressful process. Exactly. We should probably go make it so yeah. that we can eat it. Uh, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future vegan recipes, super future buffalo recipes. You never know what you're gonna get. Subscribe, but let's go make this fried chicken sandwich. To make your buffalo, Oyster mushroom sandwiches, we're first gonna start off by making a vegan buttermilk mixture. So to do that, you're going to combine some soy milk with some apple cider vinegar, buffalo sauce, salt and pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder and onion powder, and just stir that until combined. Then we're going to add in small clusters of oyster mushrooms. I like to keep them small and then use like two or three per sandwich instead of making them as big as a sandwich. So then add your mushroom clusters to your vegan buttermilk mixture and then you're going to toss those until they're all combined and coated in the buttermilk and let them sit for about 30 minutes in the fridge. While your mushrooms are marinating, you can make your maple miso mayo by combining some vegan mayo with some miso paste and some maple syrup and just stirring that until it's nice and combined. And then you can just store that in the fridge until you're ready to use it. So once your mushrooms are done marinating, we're going to make a dry dredge. So to do that, you're going to combine some all-purpose flour with some cornstarch, salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. You're just gonna mix that until combined. Optionally, if you want, you can add in some dried parsley, but that's up to you. Next up, we're going to take our mushrooms from our buttermilk mixture and toss them into that flour mixture you just made. And then you're going to add them back to the wet mixture, toss them again, and then back into the dry. So we're gonna do a double dredge here. And you're just gonna repeat that until all the mushrooms are done. Next up, we're making these in an air fryer. So what you wanna do to prep your air fryer is brush the bottom of the air fryer with a little bit of oil. Now we're using some oil in this recipe, it's not an oil-free recipe. The reason we're doing that is because we wanna make sure it gets nice and golden brown as if you deep fried them. So brush the bottom of your air fryer with a little bit of vegetable oil, then you're going to add in your coated mushrooms into the air fryer and cook them at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about five minutes. And then every five minutes, you're gonna to wanna to brush with a little bit more vegetable oil all over the dry patches of the flour so that it gets nice and cooked and nice and golden brown. You wanna do that every five minutes for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then you just wanna cook them until they're nice and deep golden brown. Next up, we're going to toast our buns. So in a non-stick skillet that is completely dry, so no oil, no butter, no nothing like that, we're going to add in our buns and just toast them until they're nice golden brown. And then optionally, you can do the opposite side of them as well, the outside of the buns. There's one or two ways you can coat your mushrooms if you want. So you can toss them in buffalo sauce or you can drizzle them with buffalo sauce over top of your sandwich. I decided to drizzle, but I've tossed them before and they're both delicious ways to do it. 
Then you're gonna construct your sandwich. So you wanna spread some mayo on the bottom bun. Then we're going to place our fried mushrooms on top. And we're going to drizzle on some buffalo sauce if you haven't already. Then we're gonna to top with some shredded lettuce, put some more mayo on that top bun and top with that bun and enjoy. It makes me so happy. It just like, it looks so good too. Oh my gosh. I cut mine in half. But oh, look I didn't that. cut mine in half. It's just, it's so, like that is a chicken sandwich if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it is. I gotta be a beauty influencer. I wonder influencer. if you can see this. And yeah. There we go. <laughs> like that, that, that is exactly, like if I'm ordering a chicken sandwich somewhere, like a vegan chicken sandwich, this is what I want to get. 100%. All right, ready to eat? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's so good. I can't get over these mushrooms. I know. What the heck? If you don't like mushrooms, I think you should forget about that for a second and just try this. Because <laughs> it's so Honestly, good. Honestly, it just feels like chicken. Mm-hmm. It's juicy, like you'd want chicken, like you expect chicken to be, but it's still like meaty and fibrous. And even... The step of marinating it in the buffalo buttermilk, that, even that, it was like game changing. I basically just applied what you would do to normal chicken anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is a chicken sandwich just without the chicken. <laughs> wow. It makes me so happy, this sandwich. And I will say, I really do think the miso mayo takes it up a level. It's so good. If you need to serve someone something, this is it. I was just going to say, like, this is one of those things where I'm like, people coming over, you're not vegan, you're going to eat this, and you're going to think about maybe you should be. Mm-hmm. We're just going to sit here and eat in front of you now. I mean, honestly, this is making a great case for buffalo sauce. It's making a great case for oyster mushrooms. It's making a great case for air fryers. Wow. Does this not look like chicken to you guys? Like, that's chicken. I think that's chicken. I think you might be eating chicken. Why are you eating chicken right now? Like this Stop, is... that's chicken. Look at this. <gasps> it's chicken, look at it. Whoa. It looks like chicken. Eat mushrooms. I don't even know what we could talk about in the comments that would, I don't know. I'm sp has food ever made you speechless? And what was that food? <laughs> <laughs> and you could try this with like other flavors too. Should we talk about that? Yeah. And I was like, what would I do though? What would you do instead of buffalo sauce, Devin? I don't know. Oh, would you I would definitely do... do something like Korean inspired, like gochujang, something along those lines for sure. I was going to say, would you ever do like lemon pepper? Oh, yes. There's so many good, you could do any of the flavors we've talked about on this channel, you could do in this. <laughs> yeah, you could go straight up barbecue, like whatever sauce you want to try, do it. Let's talk about it. I don't know. Also, Devin, you have a different air fryer than me. How did it turn out? Great. Amazing. So, like, if you also have the T-Fowl, which is, like, I want to say the OG air fryer, or at least one yeah. of them, um, it works with that one, too. Yeah. You just, like, take the paddle out, use the oil, and it's magic. I, I, I'm so impressed. I've never loved my air fryer more. I, it fully tastes like we deep fried this. Yeah. Okay, the recipe is in the description box below for you to go make it. There's also a link to our podcast. It comes out every Monday and it's called Camera Eats First. We talk about veganism, how we make amazing recipes like this, how we run our blog, we talk about some food content that we really like. It's a really fun time, so go give it a listen. There's also a link to our Patreon community. Our patrons are a lovely group of people who help support the work that we do. And in exchange, we give them some bonus content. So if you're able to support us that way, we really, truly appreciate it. But if not, that's okay. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and share this with every single person that you know. Yeah, everybody. Everyone. No exceptions here. Not people who like this or this. Everybody. Mm hmm It just makes me so happy. Like, have we ever had a food truck? Oh, yeah. It's oh, literally yeah. what I was thinking about. <laughs> right? This is our signature dish. Two mushroom girls, you know. <laughs> two mushroom girls. Two maple girls, two mushroom girls, it works. 
No. 